Hello friends, it's so good to see you today. Today I'm very excited to teach you all about patterns and I think the best way for you to understand is just to see it. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. A pattern is a series of images or shapes or something that is repeated. So if you see here, this is a very simple type of pattern. This kind of pattern is called an AB pattern because there's only two objects that repeat. So here we have triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, and then a blank space. So in this blank space, we have to figure out what would be the next shape in the pattern. Would it be a triangle? Let's see if that follows the pattern that we have here. Triangle, square, triangle, square, Triangle, square, triangle, oh, triangle. No, that doesn't work because in this pattern, in an AB pattern, you have two different objects that are alternating. That means they just go one and then the next one and then one and then the next one. So let's see what should go here. If we have a triangle and then a square and then a triangle and then a square, triangle, square, triangle, Square, that must mean we need to put a square there. So let's look at the next one. So now we still only have two objects alternating, but now we have a circle and a rectangle. So let's see, circle, rectangle, circle, rectangle, circle, rectangle, circle, rectangle. Okay, now let's see what's next. We have star, heart, star, heart, star, heart, star, heart. The next shape in the, in the pattern would be a heart. Okay, we have two more AB patterns. So we have rectangle, square, rectangle, square, Rectangle, square, rectangle, square. Oh, look, I have one down here. Square. All right, let's do the last one. Triangle, diamond, triangle, diamond, triangle, diamond, triangle, diamond. Good job. So we completed all the AB patterns here. Now let's look at a little bit more complicated type of pattern. This one is called AABB -B because each of the shapes repeats in sets of two. So if you see here, we have star, star, circle, circle, star, star, circle, Circle, that's right. There should be a second circle there because in each pattern, both shapes are in sets of two. And did you know a set of two is called a pair? You wear a pair of shoes. That's because you have two shoes. So let's look at this next pattern. We have diamond, diamond, heart, heart. Diamond, diamond, heart, heart. That's right because we have two of each shape. The next shape should be a heart. Triangle, triangle, square, square. Triangle, triangle, square, square. Good job. Okay, let's see what's next. Rectangle, rectangle, oval, oval. Rectangle, rectangle, oval, Oval, good job. And the last one, heart, heart, triangle, triangle, heart, heart, triangle, triangle. Nice work. Now, before we finish, let's look at one more type of pattern that's a little bit more challenging. This last type of pattern is called ABB -B because 
one of the shapes repeats only one time and the next shape repeats two times. So we have heart, diamond, diamond, heart, diamond, diamond, heart, what do you think goes next? Diamond, that's right, because the heart only repeats one time each time we see it. So that means next would come diamond. So let's see, what about this one? Star, square, square. Star, square, square. Star, square, that's right. Okay. Square, oval, oval. Square, oval, oval. Square, oval. Good job. Let's see. Rectangle, circle, circle. Rectangle, circle, circle. Rectangle, circle. Let's see, last one. Oval, triangle, triangle. Oval, triangle, triangle. Oval, triangle, good job. And let's see, I'm gonna give you a little test. What would come next? If we were to continue this pattern on the bottom, what would come next after this triangle? Would it be an oval? Does that look the same? Let's see, oh no, because look, we need to have two sets or two triangles each time we repeat it. So look, next would be a triangle like that. There's lots of ways that you can practice making patterns. You can use string and beads to make a necklace. So you could do a red bead and then a blue bead and then a red bead and then a blue bead. And if you do that and repeat it, um, then you will make your very own pattern. So there's lots of ways you can do it. You can do it with coloring, you can do it with shapes, you can do it with beads, you can even do it with the food that you eat. So if you have peas and carrots, you can make a pattern of pea, carrot, pea, carrot. There's lots of ways to do it. So I hope you have fun exploring patterns and working with this lesson today, and I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Have a great day, bye.